What's up guys, I'm gonna show you guys how to potentially qualify for a four to five figure airdrop in this video. This is going to be for Lenia. Lenia is a chain from Consensus, and these guys in total have raised over $700 million. This is just one of the rounds, $450 million from a Series D funding. Here's a couple of the partners. They have Parify, they have C Ventures, SoftBank. Some of these are pretty big names in the space. And if you don't know who Consensus is, they're also behind the MetaMask wallet. Now, the reason why I'm talking to you guys about the amount of funding that they raised is that this is really important to understand for airdrops because if a project or team raises like, let's say $5 million, $10 million, that's just less money that they can potentially distribute to users or at least be incentivized to pay back to the community slash VC investors. If a project raises a lot of money, they tend to like to build a lot of hype and deploy marketing. Airdrops are one of the biggest marketing campaigns a project can do. I mean, it's free money for crying out loud. Johnny gets free money, Freddie gets free money, and then they tell all their friends and be like, bro, did you get free money? So one of the biggest ones you guys probably have already known about is Arbitrum. These are some of the steps involved and I'm going to be going in this video. That way you guys have a step-by-step -step guide and we're also going to be using this as part of the parameters for it. So we can at least look to qualify for a larger airdrop. So the very first thing we want to do is go ahead and bridge onto Lenia. Now, by the time you guys see this video, it should still be free. Uh, you can actually bridge using rhino.fi. I'll put a link in the description below so you guys can check it out. But you should be able to bridge from Optimism, Ethereum, Arbitrum, any of these different chains and bridge onto Lena. Just for this tutorial, I'm going to bridge one tenth of an ETH. So that way I can play around in some of the games and show you guys some of the examples. Disclaimer, there is not a lot of games to play on right now because Mainnet literally just launched. And these are some of the games that will be coming out. When I say games, these are different DeFi protocols like Beefy Finance, Aave, AirSwap, Brain. Just make sure you play around with some of these different dApps. I'll leave the link for this as well in the description below so you guys can access these different dApps as they go live, but we're going to show a couple on the channel. The next bridge to use is the bridge.linea.build. I'll leave links in the description below to all this stuff. When you're bridging on this, understand you are bridging from Ethereum mainnet to Linea. The gas is not going to be crazy. Um, also make sure you transact during slower times. So depending on when you're watching this, it's usually best to transact during the afternoon when people are not really active and at evening times. Sunday and Saturday evening are some of the best times. Right now, gas is pretty high from when you're looking at this, at least for this ratio. In a bull market, this would actually be low. But you want to look for about 15 to 20 quay. If you're not bridging from Ethereum mainly, then it really doesn't matter. The side chains, it's just gonna be a, I don't know, 25 cents, 50 cent difference. But bridge on this, and I would recommend using RhinoFi as well. Why RhinoFi? Well, RhinoFi could also be giving an airdrop, which can enable you to have two airdrops. So just mess around with these different dApps, especially while it's free and it's not going to cost you to bridge on and off the chain. Now, after you bridge your funds over, understand the gas fees that you're going to be using are going to be paid in ETH, hence why we bridged over the ETH token. Linea is basically just a ZK EVM layer two. Now we're going to use Horizon DEX. So we're gonna swap some ETH to some BUSD or you can do BNB or simply just wrapped ETH, whatever you want. So as you can see here under the list of the different pools that they have, you can select to do the BUSD ETH or ETH BNB. It's entirely up to you what pool you want to use. But simply you can determine based on the APRs if there's going to be high and permanent loss. It's up to you. Again, this is main net, so this is with some real money. So make sure you understand that and are careful. So in general, what you want to do is make a couple of swaps, swap from ETH to BUSD, to wrapped ETH, to Matic, just swap between different tokens so you can drive some volume. The reason why I talk about volume is you can see over here, transaction value, it's in aggregate value. So if you are making a bunch of different transactions, that will juice the volume that you have on chain. Now, keep in mind when you're messing around on this DEX, 
spread it out through multiple days. Don't just go nuts and ham on one day and do like $100,000 in transactions. No, don't do that. Now, once you make all those swaps, provide liquidity, follow their Twitter, do all that jazz, make sure you go ahead and claim one of these OAT NFTs. I'll drop the link in the description below, but you can do this after you meet all these qualifications here on the Horizon Dex. Now, the next thing to do by the time you are watching this video, I'm not sure when, is to mess around with Izumi Finance. By the time you mess around with it, it will probably be on Mainnet on Linea. But again, if you go to the ecosystem, this is just going to be some of the things that will launch. The next thing to use is Linea Bank. This is a borrowing and lending protocol. Simply all you'll need to do is supply some ETH. You can borrow some ETH. Right now it's only ETH, but make sure you make a couple of transactions, mess around with it. And again, guys, make sure you do this on different days as well as spread it out over time. Now, of course, with this, you're not guaranteed to get an airdrop, but this is just something to keep in mind. Next is to mint a Linea Punks NFT. This is just a NFT on the Linea chain, so it could be one of the qualifications for getting an airdrop, and they may or may not do an airdrop. You can mint one, two, whatever. Now, another protocol, this one is still on Testnet. This is Mindy Finance. This is almost like Sony on Optimism. This is currently on Testnet, but they are doing a campaign. Make sure you mess around with these, uh, follow their Twitter, join the Discord, make some swaps on Velocore, which currently is on its Testnet right now. I'll drop a link in the description below for this as well. But this is on Testnet, so you can't really use this on Mainnet. But if you are watching this and you go to it and it is on Mainnet at the time, well then that is going to be one of the qualifications. Same with Mindy. These guys will be having an LGE pretty soon as well, and you can participate in that. Again, the TLDR in these airdrops is be active on the chain and kind of mess around and act like you are playing around and using the chain. And then of course, claim your little OAT NFT when you're done. So that's a quick airdrop guide you guys can use for the Linea chain. Now, keep in mind, Make sure you guys are staying tuned to the ecosystem. You guys will be able to be up to date and you will be able to play around with these different protocols. You may even find some that you enjoy using. For me at least, I enjoyed using some of them on Arbitrum, hence why the airdrop I received on Arbitrum was one of the top ones or the highest that you can get. It's because I enjoyed using the chain and it seemed like I was an actual user, which I was. And that's the whole goal of these different airdrop campaigns is to reward the actual users that like the chain. Second is use multiple wallets. Now, if you're airdrop farming, make sure you're careful how you use the different wallets. Don't allow one wallet to interact with the other and make sure you mess around with it on different days. Some people say they even check the IP addresses. I mean, it's up to you what you want to do with it and how technical you want to get with it but use, you can use a VPN, use multiple wallets, and make multiple trades spread over different days. As you can see here, this was one of the factors on the Arbitrum airdrop. You conducted transactions during two distinct months, six distinct months, nine. So when you are making your first transaction, it's always important to be early, just based on this nine distinct months, because the only way to do that is if you started early, and then make different transactions over time. Spread them out throughout the month. Make a swap, make a claim, uh, play around with one of these yield farms. Use the chain as you normally would. Anyways, guys, thanks for tuning in. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, make sure you guys drop a like, subscribe to the channel, tell me what you guys think of the video. And if you guys would like to jump in the exclusive Discord, yes, you can now pay with crypto. The link is in the description below so you guys can join the Digi Squad Discord. And if you guys like guides like this, I'll start making more in the future or simply the next video is just going to be a bitmap and ordinal update because you guys kind of voted 40-40 and I was like, uh, what the snap? Which one do I choose? So I'm just going to do both of them. As always, guys, we're going to hit you guys with a wisdom one line. Proverbs chapter 12, verses 25. Anxiety weighs down the heart, but kind words cheer it up. Be good, be righteous. Peace.